Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hey, this week, go ahead and answer the question, do we take our solar panels and do we put them in series or parallel? So let's go ahead and cover that. So solar panels are kind of like batteries. Each solar panel has a positive and a negative, just like a battery, okay? Now, typically when you take batteries and you add a second battery, so you have a battery, you add a second one, third one, fourth one, and so on, you have a couple choices on how you hook those up. Now, if you buy a 12 volt battery for your RV, and your RV needs 12 volts, and you buy a second 12 volt battery, the only way you can hook those batteries up is in parallel. When you put batteries in parallel, you keep the voltage at what the stated value is. So if stated value on the battery is 12 volts, you put batteries in parallel, they stay 12 volts. When you put batteries in series, you double the voltage or triple the voltage, depending on how many batteries you connect on there. Now with batteries, we typically keep them at the voltage of whatever our load is. Now let's jump over to solar panels, right? I already told you solar panels are like batteries, however, in solar panels, right, we're taking um, energy from light. We take light, bring it through the solar panel. Solar panel actually creates the energy or changes it to energy. How about that? Well, the solar panel itself, based on the size, produces a certain amount of pressure, voltage, and allows a certain amount of flow. Now, solar panels work whenever the sun comes up. You get good sun strike. And throughout the day, you know, early morning, you have less sun strike than you do midday and then of course less in the afternoon and so the question is is if i put my solar panels in parallel yes i get more current maybe coming through but here's how this works okay here's my solar panel sitting early morning on top of an rv on the ground on top of your roof or anything else early sun starts waking up right starts coming up sun starts you know actually the earth is moving we'll just say the sun's moving Right, the sun is not directly over, so I'm gonna hit that panel, and I may not get full strength on there, okay? Now, volts open circuit, I'm gonna see that, but under load, my voltage is gonna drop. What I wanna do is get the voltage high enough so that way we can start producing current as quickly as possible and maintain it as long as possible. So, if we were to take our solar panels and put them in series and increase that voltage up pretty high, right, stay below our solar controller, but if I can put my solar panels in series, then I should be able to harvest more total wattage throughout the day because I'm charging sooner. And at the end of the day, I'm still charging at the end of the day because the voltage is higher. My solar controller takes that high voltage, steps it down to battery voltage, and then produces a current, okay? But if my panels were in parallel, then it may be 20, 30 minutes later in the day before I really start charging, receiving any type of power from it. And then it's gonna stop 20, 30 minutes earlier. I know it doesn't sound like much, but if you had an extra 40 minutes of charge each and every day, 365 days out of the year, then you can see the total harvest potential is far greater if we put our solar panels in series. So, one question that a lot of people have is, well, partial shading, that's gonna knock out the whole string, right? Whenever solar panels are old, that was totally true. Most of your high quality solar panels that you purchase now, A quality type panels, have what's called a cutoff diode inside. And now diode is a one-way device. So if one panel is low voltage, like semi-shaded, and another panel has full sun, then normally the voltage from this panel goes over to this panel. So basically the whole string goes out not true anymore because of cutoff diodes. They put a little diode in there one way. So electricity can only go out, electricity can't go in. So the neat thing is, if you have the right solar panels with the cutoff diodes, you could put them in series. One of those could be under partial shade and let's say it only produces 20 volts. The other one under full sun may produce 30 volts. Well, you still get a total of 50 volts going over to your solar controller. I don't worry about the panels going backwards. So rule of thumb, high quality panels, put them in series, get more wattage to your batteries and to your loads throughout the day. There's your tech tip. Hey, if you got questions about batteries or want to go ahead and put in a solar system, but need some guidance, head over to bigbeardbattery.com, fill out the solar design form, and one of our certified solar experts will give you a call and get you started.